A team from leading archaeology and heritage practice, Wessex Archaeology, has discovered an early Neolithic causeway enclosure at Riding Court Farm near Datchet. The fieldwork is funded by Semex UK, who own and operate the sand and gravel quarry. An ongoing programme of archaeological work is planned over the next five years. The quarry covers some 44 hectares, the village of Datchet is to the south and Slough and Windsor are the nearest large towns. The Thames lies one kilometre to the south and would have been an important routeway in the Neolithic, much as it is today. The Neolithic saw substantial changes to human lifestyles with the introduction of farming techniques to the British Isles. We see the first domesticated animals and crops, the first use of pottery vessels and new types of stone tools are also introduced. Large communal monuments are constructed and people begin to leave visible traces in the landscape. Causewayed enclosures are one of the earliest known acts of monument building in Britain and are defined by encircling bank and ditch segments with gap entrances. Around 80 monuments have been identified across Britain and others are known from the continent. The Riding Court Causewayed enclosure may have been seasonably occupied, a place where people gathered to undertake ceremonial feasting, exchange goods, mark festivals and carry out social obligations. The enclosure comprises a single circuit of interrupted ditches, so far around 250 metres of the enclosure's arc. Some 13 ditch segments have been mapped. Work at the site in autumn 2017 concentrated on the western side of the enclosure. The team dug various sections around the circuit. Each section is carefully cleaned, drawn and photographed with each soil layer described and finds are catalogued. Close to the base of the ditches, culturally rich deposits have been made and comprise dense spreads of animal bone, articulated and disarticulated human remains, large fragments of decorated pottery, worked stone and flint tools. Amongst the tools are leaf-shaped arrowheads, scrapers, serrated blades and polished flint axes. A stone axe, possibly from Great Langdale in the Lake District, suggests contacts to other areas of Britain. One segment contained a dense spread of animal bone, pottery and worked flint. The bone looks to have been backfilled into the ditch from its inner edge. It is very tightly spaced with almost more bone than soil. Bones of cattle, pig and sheep goat, as well as wild species like red and roe deer were found. Some have evidence of charring, probably from open fires. Excavation work at the quarry is ongoing and will continue with the support of Semex UK for the next few years. Ultimately, we will be able to see the whole of the causeway enclosure and its surrounding landscape. This will allow archaeologists to study some of the earliest farming communities and how they left their mark on the landscape for years to come.